I thought it's a perfect time to do a full makeup tutorial. And we're going to a Michelin star restaurant in DC. Ooh, that's a little too much. I should have scrubbed my face. It was exfoliating day yesterday. All right, for mascara, we're using a new mascara today. I just ran out of mine, so we're gonna pick one together. Then I'm going in with Lancome Curl Eyelash Booster. All right, let's try, is it called Monsieur? Let's try our new mascara. Sit for a few seconds, do this one before I go back and do a second layer. Didn't have time to do it. So I go in with a little bit of oil. I go in with this brush and I distribute the oil. All right, so normally this takes me 15 minutes. I thought it's a perfect time to do a full makeup tutorial and to show you my everyday glam look because I'm getting ready for a meeting and normally I'm super, super rushed when I'm getting ready, but today I have time and I wanted to do an updated one because the last Ouch. The last get ready with me was for a black tie event and I was kind of going all out for that and so I wanted to show you my everyday makeup look. It's kind of very simple and it normally takes me anywhere between 11 minutes and 15 minutes but today may be a little bit longer because I'm also talking to you at the same time. So I'm gonna put my hair up first. I also have to juice up my hair a little bit because hair wash day was yesterday. So yeah, my hair is extremely dirty. So let's do a full face of makeup. I've already prepped my skin and I already did my morning skincare routine. I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I always get hair on my face when I'm doing my makeup. Flawless Filter in shade 2.5. Go ahead and blend that in. Then I go in with a bronzing drop. I've been loving lately the Tarte Deep Bronzing Glow, Deep, Deep Bronze Glow, and the Say Beauty one. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte. So what I do is I put my foundation, we're going in with Estee Lauder, shade 3C2 Pebble. And I just go in, I'm actually running it low. I purchased another one with the Sephora Sale. So about this much, it's not that much, Maybe it is for some people. <laughs> Not that much to me. I used to do a lot of makeup before. And then I'm gonna go in with a three, four drops. Honestly, I put this more than the foundation. So then I put this on and I blend them in, mix them in. And then I go in, don't forget to blend in your neck. I'm headed to lunch with a wonderful colleague of mine. We're going to a Michelin star restaurant in DC. It's an Italian restaurant. It just opened, I think, a year or two ago. And the name is Lard Lardente, Lardente. And they are famous, well, they became very famous for their 40 layer lasagna. Oh, I'm so hot. The funny thing is that uh, Jimon and I went last year for his birthday and we obviously ordered the 40 layer lasagna. To be honest, the lasagna wasn't that good. I was very surprised how they got famous for their 40 layer lasagna. Everyone swears by it, but both Jimon and I did not like it at all, like at all. So today I'm not ordering the lasagna, but I love the vibe. I loved everything else, but definitely not ordering the lasagna anymore. Actually, my colleague might, I don't know. Some people might like it. People still swear by it, but I didn't love it. And they had some events with celebrities where like the celebrities would um, serve alcohol behind a bar. It was very interesting. I didn't go to that one, but it's a very famous restaurant in DC. So yeah, we're headed there. And then I'm headed home for a appointment, Zoom call, and then I have another appointment to head to, but I'm very excited for the weekend. So for bronzer, I know it looks a little bit crazy on here. It's probably the lighting, but for bronzer, I'm using Dibs Beauty. This is number four. It's their dual stick. It has bronzer on one side and blush on the other side. Then I go in with that. Then for my eyes, again, this is about my everyday look. Very simple. I know a lot of people may not think it's simple, but for me, considering how much makeup I used to put on my face, I used to put so much makeup and everyone would tell me don't put that much makeup on it doesn't look good and so yeah it's been two years two and a half years three years that i no longer put that much makeup on i kind of go very minimal makeup it may look like i have a lot on but i really don't eyeshadow then i go with my concealer i'm using tarte shape tape and i've talked about this multiple times it's my favorite absolute favorite concealer but 
The packaging is horrible. It leaks and it's not the first one. It's my probably sixth or seventh one and they all start leaking and it's so horrible because it's so hard to travel with or do anything with. So after this time, after I'm out, I have like three more. Um, after I'm done, I'm not purchasing anymore unless they change their packaging. So do let me know if you know it good. I think I'm going to try to maybe the hourglass one next because people swear by it. Is it, is it the hourglass one? I think it's the hourglass one that people swear by it. So I might try that one. Then after that, I'm going in with my blush. Same stick, Dips Beauty on the other side. It's the blush. And I put a... Ooh, that's a little too much. Put a little bit on nose. A little on my lips. I know it's taking longer because I'm also trying to talk to you at the same time. And it's always it always takes longer when you're filming. Then after that, I'm going in with my setting powder. For setting powder, I use it because I have a very oily T-zone. That's a lot. I put a little bit in the lid and I kind of corner on my eyes and my eyebrows because my eye liner tends to go all over the place. And because I do put foundation on it, so it's a little bit creamy and I don't want that to go anywhere. So I put a little bit around my mouth area, my smile lines. Next, we're going with the eyeliner. I'm still using my NYX NYX Epic Ink Liner, but I am looking for another option. I think it got cut off and I didn't it didn't record my lips if it did I'll skip this part but if it didn't I'll put it in so for lips I did Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lip liner Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lipstick and a layer of did I do this one I can't remember <laughs> cashmere not cashmere coral bliss I don't think I did this one yeah I did coral bliss um, Mac lipstick and I was saying the reason I'm looking for a new eyeliner is because the br the brush starts spreading, like opening up, and so it's no longer precise, and I am hating it because I want a perfect winged eyeliner. For eyebrows, I'm going in with my two Benefit pencils, and I'm using the teeny tiny one, the one that they just came out with for inner parts of my eyebrows. So I just kind of follow my natural eyebrow shape and I do bra hair strokes my eyebrows not eyebrowing today nothing is working today because I should have scrubbed my face it was exfoliating day yesterday and my skin is like peeling and it's not skinning and so yeah for eyebrow and then I use the thicker one for filling it in I'm using both number five and I know one of you mentioned that Five is too light for me because I have black features so I want my eyebrow to I, I don't have pitch black hair that's the thing I don't have pitch black everything in the Sun when I go out in the Sun my hair is like a three four shades lighter than black black mm -hmm. you can definitely see brown in it so it's a very dark brown so that's why I do brown and in the tiny pencil one it doesn't come lighter than i mean darker than five five is the darkest which is fine because i've been using five the past couple of years it works for my eyes what do you think i definitely think it works but maybe i could go a little bit darker all right for mascara we're using a new mascara today i just ran out of mine so we're gonna pick one together we have let's see one two three four mascaras from all from Lancome and I actually used to have this one the Lancome I cannot even say that word drama I used to have this back in school so let's see what else gives you definition this one gives you definition and curl this one gives you volume and this one also gives you volume let's go with let's go with this one I'm going with this one. So first we're curling our lashes and my eyelash curler is by Shumera. I did talk about it on my Sephora haul that I've had this eyelash curler for over 20 years probably. I bought one of my first purchases from Sephora. Then I'm going in with Lancome Curl 
eyelash booster eyelash booster it's the primer and i swear by it it makes your eyelashes it kind of separates them and it gives them the boost that it needs and i'm also running out of that one i need another one all right let's try is it called monsieur let's try our new mascara first impression of the brush i love it i'm very picky when it comes to mascaras i've used maybe one or two mascaras all my life i've tried a lot of brand different brand mascaras and none of them satisfied me but this one is also very beautiful i'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds do this one before i go back and do a second layer i know i'm probably putting my mascara wrong I've seen so many videos that you're not supposed to just do this. You're supposed to kind of like go from inside and definitely cannot do that. Like they go inside and then they curl it. Ah, I can't do it. So this is how I put it on. Again, might be wrong, but <laughs> let's give this one a little bit extra. I'm loving it. Maybe I need to turn this light on. I normally do when I'm not filming. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zhuzh up my hair. I'm gonna put music on it because you won't be able to hear me. All right, that's all I do for my hair when I'm doing like a little touch up. I do that every single day when it's not hair wash day. And what I do is I go in with a little bit of oil. Definitely, I wish I washed my hair yesterday, but didn't have time to do it. So I go in with a little bit of oil. I gotta also zoom out so you can see. And as you saw, I already brushed my hair first. Then I go in with this brush and I distribute the oil. All right, so normally this takes me 15 minutes. So yeah, this is the final result of my every single day makeup. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video, hopefully.